everybody. Good morning. Good morning. It's August 9, Friday, 2019. And what special day are we celebrating today? Grandpa's birthday. Okay, you see Grandpa's right there. And look at what Facebook, look at what Facebook tells me here. Do you want to tag Jacob Kleachko in this video? <laughs> Amazing. I mean, this technology, they recognize who's on the... Uh, who's on the uh, Facebook Live. They recognize that Grandpa was right there. Okay, and what's so special today is Grandpa's birthday, August 9. He would have been uh, 83 years old today. Of course, uh, he passed away January 12 this year. So today we are uh, commemorating uh, what could have been his 83rd uh, birth anniversary. And of course, it's also the death anniversary of Grandma Aleli, right? Grandma Aleli. And um, Grandma Aleli uh, passed away on August 9, 2001. So how many years ago was that? 18 years, right? Huh? 18 years. Okay. So, and Grandma Aleli died in grandpa's arms just as uh, she had wished just as she had wanted right um, that was her that was her wish and that was why the book of uh, tita lala that she wrote was about grandma dying in her arm in his arms right why don't you get the book joe go go get the book so we just review what that is you know what that is yeah, yeah okay huh okay and then, by the way, today also, August 9, marks the second year anniversary of us doing these gospel commentaries and uh, uh, filming them and, uh, and sharing them with everybody else on Facebook. There is that book. See? Oh, it might be, it might be in reverse here, right? Because that's how. <laughs> but she died in my arms. There you have grandpa and grandma. Okay? And uh, that was the wish of Grandma Lily <clears throat> that, that she dies in Grandpa's arms. And so uh, Lala wrote a book about her story and about how that whole thing happened. Okay, so let's remember them. And I'd like to ask everybody, we could please uh, uh, remember them in your prayers. Jacob's uh, birthday today and Lily's uh, birthday in heaven. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, do the gospel commentary. Today the gospel is from St. Matthew chapter 16, verses 24 to 28. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit will there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? So, Jesus wants to remind us in this gospel that to be an apostle of Jesus Christ, to be a disciple of Jesus Christ, to follow our Lord is no easy task. Right? It's, not, it's not an easy task. Um, it requires plenty of sacrifice. It requires plenty of challenges to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. To be a Christian. To be a Catholic. To be a faithful follower of Jesus. <clears throat> is a life of self-discipline. It is a life of sacrifice. It is a life of service to other people. It is a life of giving good example and not scandal. It is a life full of prayer and mortification. It is a life of struggle to avoid temptations and to avoid sin. That's the characteristic of 
the life of a Christian. It is not easy. Nobody said it's a bed of roses. Okay? But it is a life that if lived according to the way Jesus invites us to follow me, okay, because I am the way, the truth and the life, right? follow me. And what are we following? Well, we're following the life that he lived, which is practically the way of the cross, the way to the cross, and the way that is Paved, so to speak, by the cross. So, it is a tough invitation. It is a tough challenge, right? Like what he told uh, James and John, right? When they asked, if her, their mother asked if they can sit, one on his right, one on his left. But what did our Lord say? Well, can you drink the cup which I am about to drink? See, he, and they said, yes, we can. What is that cup? Well, it's the cup of suffering. It's the cup of uh, his crucifixion and death. It's the, it's the chalice of salvation, as we say at Mass. Right? So, Jesus has been issuing all of these challenges to everybody. Leave everything and come follow me. He issued the same call to the apostles. Come, follow me. Whatever it is you're doing, leave it alone. And people who make excuses and say, oh, let me first bury my father. Oh, let me first say goodbye to my family. He said, ah, you're not worthy of me. For whoever, whoever uh, decides to follow me and then looks back into the plow is not worthy of me. Okay? So it's a challenging life. It's a challenging life being being a child of God, being a Christian, being um, um, a, an apostle of Jesus is a challenging life. And he tells us, take up your cross and follow me. Now the cross is not just a symbol of sacrifice. It just does, it, it's not just an, uh, 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 um, uh, an, it's not just a sacrificial um, a death sentence, right? Uh, that's not really what the cross is all about. The cross is actually more a symbol of salvation. It's a symbol of eternal life. It is a symbol of our uh, uh, purification and sanctification. That's what the cross is actually all about. So when Jesus invites us to take up our cross... What he really means is that like Simon of Cyrene who helped Jesus carry his cross, okay, we have to take that role of Simon of Cyrene throughout our life, taking up the cross. The cross which is a participation in Jesus' own cross. Okay? Jesus allows us to participate in his cross and carry the heavy burden of salvation of saving souls that is what he actually invites us to do when he asks us to follow me take up your cross it means take up the part of saving souls that i am going to entrust to you okay because every one of us uh, in the family of, of god in the church uh, participate in that cross we are all invited to participate in carrying that cross as part of the body of Christ, the mystical body of Christ that, with, that is the church. You and I are all part of that and we have to carry that cross the way that Jesus carried it bodily, physically to his crucifixion. We are being asked to carry that same cross. He, he apportions the burden of salvation to each and every one of us according to what we can carry. Okay? So we are like performing the role of a Simon of Cyrene helping Jesus carry his cross by us carrying the crosses that Jesus asks us to carry. 
by us carrying the little crosses, the little sacrifices, the little mortifications, the little difficulties that He has asked us to carry and is asking us to carry every day. Okay? So, uh, that is what it means to follow our Lord. Okay? It is to follow our Lord in the task of saving souls. The task of saving other people. Okay? By offering sacrifices, by offering uh, mortifications, by... by uh... Mia! Oh, what's going on? Oh, okay. Mom's home. Um, so... Okay, I got lost. Where are we? Sorry. So, <laughs> so, when we think of the sacrifices and the challenges that we encounter every day, we have to keep in mind that these are the little crosses that our Lord wants us to bear cheerfully, not in a complaining way, but cheerfully, serenely, um, uh, peacefully and offer them up for the salvation of others for, first for our own salvation for the forgiveness of our own sins and then for the salvation of many other people okay that is the basic concept of what the cross is for us in our lives now let's look at you know what are your crosses what are, what crosses do we have that we can offer up as a, ma as a way of sharing in the cross of Jesus Christ. You know, there are plenty. In one whole day, there's so many uh, kinds of crosses that we can offer up, right? It's summer. The heat is one very nice uh, cross and mortification to offer up, right? We are not always in an air-conditioned room. So once in a while, we have to suffer the heat, bear the heat. And we sweat and we get tired and we get uncomfortable. All of that, that is the cross at that moment that you can share uh, and, and participate in and offer up for your own sanctification, for the forgiveness of your own souls and for the forgiveness of the souls of many other people. How's that? What's that, Sophia? Forgiveness of souls. Forgiveness of, yeah, the sins of other, other people. Okay, what else? Well, well, let's say you're having a hard time doing your school work and you're being challenged and you're, you're, you, are, you are maybe very confused and you don't understand what you're doing. Offer it up, right? Offer it up. Or uh, you're being distracted. Ah, ah, I think that's familiar, right? Well, we get distracted with our school work. Uh, there are birds flying out there that we get attracted to in the sunroom. Or there's something that pops up in our computer and it distracts us. Well, well, it, well let's avoid these things. And, and avoiding them uh, is your cross at that moment. Concentrating and focusing on your school work is the cross of that moment. Okay? What else? Oh, your brothers and sisters being annoying. Right? Sometimes they 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 tease you, or sometimes they don't uh, they don't do what you ask them to do, or I don't know what. Well, or they they, they mess up, and and uh, you don't like the disorder around you. Well, you can offer that up, right? You can offer that up, or you get hungry along the way during the day. Well, maybe you can skip some some snacking, or or you offer up the hunger, or whatever it is you can offer up. That is a sacrifice. That's part of the cross. Now, some people have bigger crosses. Some of them, they didn't even ask for them. Right? Like Grandma Lily uh, had a big cross to offer up for seven years, which was her sickness. She was, she was sick and she, she got cancer three times within the span of seven years. And she, of course, God <laughs> cured her three times, but... It was a terrible, terrible, terrible time of her life. Seven years. You know, your grandma, Lily, suffered many things all throughout her life from, from her youth. Okay? From the time, the earliest time I could remember, uh, Grandma Lily, for example, suffered plenty of anxiety attacks all throughout our growing up years. Okay? Uh, well, uh, uh, partly, partly caused by <laughs> Grandpa's involvement in politics. <laughs> because... What is that? Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, so uh, grandma got uh, got plenty of anxiety attacks because of uh, grandpa's involvement in politics. It was a very tough life that she had to she had to live uh, well, while grandpa was in politics. See? And um, I could remember all the difficulties that grandma went through. And grandma went through plenty of challenges and difficulties uh, uh, having all six children. Her pregnancies were not easy. In fact, she had two cesarean uh, um, section incidences with Tita Maria Tita Nessie, right? Uh, it was, she always had very difficult pregnancies. But you know what? Well, she carried all of these things cheerfully. She carried all of these things with faith in God and offered up everything, all of her sufferings. And particularly uh, remarkable was the seven years that she suffered her cancer. Okay? And uh, you should, it, it's all in this book. It's all in this book, the story of how she went through uh, her cancer. Grandpa, the same thing. You know, your grandpa, you just wouldn't notice that he suffers a lot because he's very cheerful. Right? That's uh, one very uh, uh, remarkable trait of grandpa is his cheerfulness. Look at that smile. Right? But your grandpa suffered, suffered plenty, plenty, plenty of things in his life. And I can't even begin to to relate all of that to you. Uh, of course, he was suffering a lot when Grandma was suffering already with all of her uh, difficulties. Hi, mommy. How are you? Okay. And uh, you know, and that was uh, followed by many, many, many other difficulties in life. Uh, well, each one of us, mommy and I, had the same difficulties. Our migration story is one big difficulty. <laughs> And, uh, and God had tested us all throughout uh, these, these difficult moments uh, of our lives. See? So God sends us. God sends us crosses. God uh, gives us part of that cross in many different ways. From the small things of everyday life to sometimes bigger things. Like now we know we are praying for many people who are bearing difficult crosses because of the sicknesses because of economic difficulties, because of challenges politically or otherwise, right? We're praying for all of these people. Well, let us remember to offer up, to offer up these little crosses, big or small crosses, for the salvation of souls. Okay? A life, life is not worth living if it is not punctuated with all of these little crosses every day. These are the these are the things that make uh, give our life uh, meaning. They give our life a reason to be lived because there's something bigger than just us that we participate in. And that something bigger is the participation in the salvific mission of Jesus Christ. Okay? So let us not let us not be too touchy feely about oh I got hurt oh my feelings are hurt oh it's so hot oh yeah with the, with the little things of we complain a lot about so many little things right let us always keep the big picture in mind that when we have difficulties and sufferings in life we are partaking of the big picture which is bigger than ourselves bigger than our petty concerns bigger than our silly comfort loving selves bigger because we are participating in the salvific mission of Jesus Christ. We take up his cross and follow him. Okay? And that is what leads us to holiness. That is what leads us to sanctity. Oh, that's it as far as the gospel is concerned. So I'd like, I, would, I would like to beg uh, everybody. Today is a very special day to remember your grandpa and grandma. And for those of you listening here with us, if you can just please, uh, please pray, please pray for Jacob and Aleli, uh, most especially today. Okay? And tomorrow, by the way, uh, well, Saturday, we normally don't do a commentary of the gospel uh, during breakfast. But tomorrow is the birthday of yeah. Jana. Jana, Jana is of course shy to show herself, but there she is. Jana is turning 14. 14 years old tomorrow. Tomorrow, Jana is turning 14 years old. August 10, 
So let's also pray for Jana and remember her, especially tomorrow. Okay, so today we're off to Mass. Uh, and hopefully we'll go visit Grandpa's grave after Mass today. Have a good day, everybody. Have a good weekend ahead of you. See you next week. Oh, and by the way, uh, you know, if you want to see Clatch Company play, uh, we will be in, uh, in uh, Graceda Park, Mancini Bowl, 3 o'clock on Sunday, August 11th. You're all invited to be there. Okay? Bye! Bye!